just going to be going into some war attacks and some raid attacks. See how we actually get on. Just helped clear a uh, tech boss with a spider chef. Let's jump on the mystics. Better put that on silent. For a long time, I don't know why, it was probably just purely because I had him. Um, I only just got him. I was always picking Doctor Doom and these nodes over Death Pool. Schoolboy. Probably wouldn't put Death Pool center either. Um, but yeah, absolute schoolboy. Doctor Doom's class. He will get you through the nodes, but Death Pool makes it so much easier with the ability spreader. Ability energy spreader. This node was a lot easier with Cloak and Dagger. The fact that you can have Icarus and Cersei in there as well makes it so Annoying. Shock, dodge, event.
So it's the update. I just want to load everything up onto. Yeah, so it's just taking fucking ages. Just bloody manga. so much job Why the hell not? How do you like it? How do you like it?
sound. done anything but she's still going. So good. He takes some fucking eggs. There we go. Now on to the only bit I really do struggle on, which is the mutants. So, but I'll leave that now. So luckily I will be getting a max. Ebony this time round. Interesting to see the next legendary is after Ebony is probably going to be a mega red. Uh, don't think I'm going to be. I think I might be a bit too far off because at the moment I'm working Polaris and Multiple Man um, to finish off Adam Warlock and literally just need stature to get my seven red star, which I pulled in a um, standard all up to. Uh, Seven red stars like that would be nice. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe, well, after that, just got to finish off Cable. I can get Doc Ock, Doc Ock up max. And then, I mean, yeah, it's literally those two. And I can get Omega to six. But if he's going to be out shortly. Might be able to do it. I don't spend calls on it, so yeah, might start working a bit more. Barely even touch them. Raid key top. Duly noted, duly noted. Um, okay, let's do this. I don't 
don't know if I've actually, actually fought these yet. I am horrendous with um, my Shadowlands. Purely because I know as well you need to pretty much T4 with them. I'm not a fan in terms of that, it's just ridiculous. Gap between some of my teams. I don't. I don't want to overuse the team. Will they do it? Probably. Will they do it? Will Shadowlands? Will two ninety Shadowlands beat? Skilletary, 388 Skilletary, 100, 700k punch up. I don't think they will. Give it there, I fucking hate wasting. I'll try in a sec and see what other teams need to do first. I can't remember who um, Tav Master is going to bond first. Love a symbiote, but it do take so long on time.
teams does this girl have? I was about to say, I didn't, for a second, I didn't think he had a Heroes for Hire team. So I said, what the fuck? Surprised that didn't do it. Surprised that didn't do it. Normally, that's probably the best team to use against um, Secret Avengers and Kestrel. I mean, yeah, you're probably going to lose Bishop off the bat, but you can still do it easily without Bishop. Oh, I don't know who to use for that skeletary team. Because I'm done with the go over power on it again. What teams have we got? I can find. I can work on the armor. I can work on <laughs> Fuck me, mate. God, it's like being in the fucking ocean with this whale. Jesus, wailing out. Down. So really be telling you the cargo bay is that engineering a good stuff as well. Um, that would make a little bit of difference, won't make much fucking difference. These two these two would make difference with taking that down. If you want to be able to take the armory down, you're gonna to need to take your barracks and the cargo bay down, so six attacks. Do I try it with? I know I'm going to get battered. But do I try it with them? I just don't think they're strong enough. I think they get absolutely pummeled. Oh, I could use them actually. Just take out. Take out Super Surf, I don't even know that. Should have done my um okay. But I think you a bit more powerful. A big one hit team. It's the first time I've actually fought these.
take damage to that big hit. Stun mogul man, leave the fucking guy alone. Some people are fucking rude, you know. Take a turn off. Don't understand people's fucking issue with mogul man. So clearly this team um, clearly this team's two OP war fighting skilletary. <laughs> Kill Namor. Oh, and we took it down from the bridge. So, that's quite handy. It's going to be a tight war if we can't take that armory down. 700, what are they just taken? So, hang on, do they give anything? There you go, so yeah, so ideally, the only thing you want to do to be able to take the armory down, unless, oh, I wish you could watch, because if he, if he takes that, then fair play, if someone takes that down, what's the history of this? I don't think. Will my Infinity Watch be there? Now? I mean, that's not even their top. They've probably got fucking. They've probably got like a 1.28 million um, heroes for hire and someone fucking else as well. Jesus. Fair play, mate. That's some hard. Nice. Appreciate the name as well. Mike Oxbig. <laughs> uh. Oh, I've been no Ian, am I? I've been no Ian Rush. Be curious if we can take this. Let's take a look who we've got. I think it's worth taking them three down on the reactors there as well. Touch the reactor yet. Might as well go for the reactor. I hate this. I know Yo Yo should be on that team, that team should be completely different, but I can't be arsed with it. I'm not wasting. Loads of stuff to do up my black bolt when I don't really want to do up black bolt. Yeah, yeah. You can't be arsed with Sort of one 
ask questions just a while ago. Yeah, tier 15 Silver Samurai, nice. My TCP is... Two seconds, and I will be able to say. I think it's about twelve five. I think. The mirror was it frozen? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Completely froze then. Great. I'm not pointing fingers, but I'm blaming uh, you, John Doe, Joe, uh, John Doe with a throw. Sorry, mate, but you're getting the blame for that freezing. At least we get to see the beautiful imagery and the costumes of Bishop and um, Jubilee. That would have registered the attack, would it? I'm going to be pissed if it don't. See, at the moment, I, I know a lot of people are doing up their Ghost Riders, Elsas, and some of their Young Avengers. I think I'm going to just wait in now. Wait until they're released, save up on some training mats before I do anything, and then decide. Knowing Scopely, this team, what they're going to try and do is get everyone to be spending their training mats and then dropping a character and you're going to be like, fuck it, ain't got no training mats. Uh, TCP for John Doe with a throw. Oh, I'm not even 12.5. Jesus. No, only 11.44. There you go. Not the best. Not even sure we might still be listening. That was the case. My team completely changes by the way, depending on who I'm attacking in an arena, so that ain't always it. Sometimes I drop Hello in as well, whenever I'm fighting. Um, what's his name? Baron. It's the first time I've ever noticed that the Miles comes with his mask pulled down, and he pull, um, pulled up and he pulls it down. I've never noticed that.
it is mad, mad that I was having arguments with certain other streamers on Twitter, not going to name names, that were turning around and saying Web Warriors, blah, 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 wouldn't really go out for them if you've got a high symbiote. Make your... Bearing in mind this is coming from people which got a 900 fucking K symbiote team. Web Warriors at 500k can do more than symbiotes at 900k in raids. Some of them do talk absolute shit. Absolute shit before anything even comes out. It's like the old um, Kate Bishop. Oh no, she won't She won't be any good for any of the tech raids. Wouldn't touch her. Wouldn't touch her. Fuck off. Just because she has low health. Okay. Let's have a look at again going through her stats. I mean, is it clear and positive effects with a basic? Okay. Clear two positive effects from basics, and she does piercing damage and charge. She gets charged on that, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh no, sorry. If she has charged, um, it crits. Okay. With this again, flipping positive uh, positive effect uh, effect on each turn. Flipping positive effects again. Flipping positive effects. If this character has charged, apply. Uh, offense up for two turns. So she's flipping positive effects. She's clearing positive effects. She's applying blind. She's applying to. So she's clearing positive effects and she's applying random negative effects and blind. Yet people are questioning will she be that good for tech rates? Come off it, man. Again, not naming names, but some of these streamers. Some of the ones that have got a lot of people following them do talk shit at times. Like, for me personally, I'm going to be throwing out quite a bit on her because she will sit nicely with my uh, tech team, which is. Let's go down to my tech. I mean, Star Lord to Charlie will possibly go in it. He is good, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, for her basic low cooldown on that as well, I think that one's free. So, mind me what. Mine will be Kate Bishop, Kate Bishop, Doom Kestrel, Doc Ock, and um, Lady Deathstroke. That'll be my team. I probably will. I'll probably just sit with um, T'Challa, not pushing him up too much at the moment, unless I really need to. Because I just think she's going to be better, just much more useful for all three of the lanes, whereas he's got that one time use and you're probably not going to get enough energy around to use it again and he's just as squishy me Kate Bishop again not even worth these guys yeah so for me Kate Bishop I know a lot of people put Shuri in because obviously she just does the healing uh, defence up as well which is useful I just don't want to invest invest loads into Shuri when she's not She's not massive for me. Um, she's a sort of a dead character. That would be my team. Those three: Lady Deathstrike and Kate Bishop. Um, yeah, and we'll see how they get on. We will see how they get on. I think that is going to be it for today. Yeah, Alphas. Yeah, I think she'll be decent um, in the raids as well. Very decent. I mean, obviously, I'm not saying that people don't go get Star Lord to Charla. I'll be honest, when it comes to ISO, I ain't going to pretend I know exactly what I'm doing. I follow my bot on uh, Discord. Do what it says, but for her, it's probably going to be. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. 
Nossa. Skirmisher, where she's clearing positive effects as it is, and clearing more positive effects, where I have more of a chance to clear positive effects. Skirmisher wouldn't be too bad. Uh, possibly, yeah, possibly Skirmisher. It should recognise Echo as a character now. I've done it with the um, Web Warriors. It doesn't register until the game patch comes out completely. So if you try it now, you should have um, you should have it all down there for you. Um, I'm not too sure what she's she's probably going to be striker, isn't she? Um, Echo. Where is she? I mean, she does what she lots of damage, slows. Damage, lots of damage. Yeah, you're probably going to be born in a bit. Maybe strike on her. Uh, she chains quite a bit. Yeah, she's done. Tra chains, crits. Uh, yeah, that's what I'd probably put on her. Striker. Supply and slow. She's a good character again. Um, I don't know. I mean, people are going to work hard on her. I don't know if I'm going to be someone in. I'll do her up. That's why I haven't unlocked her. That's why I haven't paid. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a whale. But I'm definitely not a whale. I just don't spend thousands on the game. I spend probably max like 50 quid a month. That's it. So I'll probably pick between Dr. Voodoo, Morbius, or Kate Bishop. But I'm going to spend. It's probably going to be Morbius purely because he's 100 unlock. Um, but that's who I'll spend the 50 quid on. Striker for now, but probably green Yeah, yeah, I would have probably put her as striker as well, just because of the damage that Echo's doing. I'd probably put Kate Bishop as what I just mentioned. Um, they'd probably be the two. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for Kate to drop before I even start doing that Young Avengers team up. And again, it'll be Kate that I'd probably take to gear tier 15. I think she's gonna be worth it. I mean, if she ain't. That everyone else will know not to do it. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I'm looking forward to Morbius. So again, out of Morbius, Morbius and Doctor Voodoo. Doctor Voodoo looks like he has more going for him outside of um, war. Looking forward to them two coming. But I think we're going to get a legendary soon. I think. I think a legendary. It's probably going to be for that team. I can't, can't see it being a legendary go anywhere else. And I think this is who we are going to be needing. I think this is going to be the team to unlock the next legendary. I can't see it not being, not being Web Warriors. Personally, I heard rumours. Not sure if it's true, but apparently we are joining some kind of alliance called Mighty Vs Madness. No, I'm in your so I joined a I joined another alliance just before uh, your boss asked me to come over to uh, you guys. And I, I mean, I did like the look of you guys, but these guys are yeah, they're good. They're good to me as well. They're a nice group of lads. Uh, talkative, you know. Don't put too much pressure on people. Um, so I would have, but I mean, I am enjoying it with you guys. I'm in your chat, so I do talk to you guys sometimes. But yeah, agree. I'm hoping for Blade to be the next. Blade Lex, next legendary makes sense. <laughs> Trying to stitch me up, Alpha. Uh, but yeah, Blade next legendary does make sense just to fit in that team. That's why I said to a lot of people, don't at the moment for me, don't do Mordo. Uh, looking at uh, Doctor Voodoo's kit, so just quickly go through it. Uh, where is it? Where Vananoid dies. So he gets he gets speed up on death proof. If an ally dies, where is it? Uh, 
for each, yeah, for speed up, each death proof on his character. When ally dies, apply, uh, apply offense up, um, and he applies. Uh, I think yeah, he gets death proof on that. Either way, he's getting he's getting quite a bit. So if an ally dies, whereas previously stipulating people's kit, specifically. Um, Ghost Rider, wherever he is, bastard there is. So Ghost Rider's kit is yeah, on non-summoned ally death. So to me, it feels like even if minions die, Doctor Voodoo is going to be getting speed up. So personally, I can see she, her fitting into that team over Mordo. Yeah, as we work, uh, was minimal. I should be alright. Spider, I think Spider Punk will probably be the one that comes out and easily accessible. You'll probably go something to like Raid Store that it'll be between Scarlet Spider and Ghost Spider that they make it a lot harder for people to get if they do do the Web Warriors. So, I mean, I should be fine on that. Um, but yeah, don't go for more though. Um, Hella's probably going to be your best choice, and again, she gets um, she's going to be getting a lot of the perks from the Mystic as well, because that team, I believe, do quite a bit of Mystic characters on their own as well. To get back into more Doctor Voodoo's kit, uh, da, da, da. so it's not that. It's either his or more um, Morbius that do stuff with. There you go. Uh, in there you go, it's him. So in War Offense, yeah, he's applying immunity to all Mystic allies as well, which is going to be quite good for Hela. Um, that's pretty much it. But I think that's going to help massively with um, putting Hela in a team. That's what I'm going to be doing anyway. I'm definitely 100,000% not working Mordo. I think Mordo, I thought he was going to be going to uh, multi some sort of Multiverse of Madness team. Um, I wasn't too sure if Doctor Strange would be dropping into this team and they do an A5 piece, but I'm glad that they obviously have left that open for ideally a legendary, aka Blade, makes sense. Um, yeah. Yeah, it would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we get another, but we get skill legendary soon. I think we're going to be having a tech team come shortly. Skill legendary. Will Blade be skill? I don't know. Could you put Blade as a skill? I think Blade might be a skill character, a skill legendary. It'll either be that or Mystic. Get away with putting him in a skill. I don't know what the scopely do what they want to do, don't they? It's hard to guess sometimes. It is hard to guess. Uh, what on earth have I just done? Oh, so... Fuck off, will ya? Creep fucking bastard. Right, I'm getting off this before I can click this thing else. But I'm pretty sure that's it, and obviously you've got the Young Avengers, well worth working. Um, like I said, I'm waiting until they're at least all near enough out, and then I'll do them. I won't do them just yet because they just sat there doing nothing until the other two, until Echo and Kate Bishop are out fully. Then you're putting stuff into characters you ain't really going to use just yet. And same with Ghost Rider doing that. I'm going to wait to Morbius and Doctor Voodoo drop, and then I'll do that. Um, I pulled this six red stars on her freaking ages ago. I want to say like a year, over a year ago, year and a half maybe. So I've just been sat there. So I'm glad that she's been put into it. Um, it seems one someone in my alliance has got a seven red star ghost rider and a six or seven red star elsa as well. So they're probably laughing at this thing. Um, 
I'm trying to think what else. What really else on my worth talking? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they do. Three red star goes well. Not bad, not bad. It's probably worth you getting him up to four, maybe five. Um, this team's probably going to be able to take out quite a lot. Well, they've already said it's set up to take out everything bar Young Avengers. Obviously, people are worried that this is just going to be you pay to go get Young Avengers, and this team is then made to just kill Young Avengers straight away. No, they've pretty much said the only team that's going to be able to defeat Young Avengers is going to be your uh, Weapon X. So. I mean, that's another team I need to work on. It'd be interesting to find out when um, Omega drops again. That's definitely a team I need to do up a little bit more. Probably get them all to 75 and 80s. But that's the team that you're going to need to use to beat Young Avengers until in probably about two months' time they bring out another another team which is used to counter um, Young Avengers so like you say wouldn't rule out Blade being the next legendary and wouldn't rule him out being a skill skill mystic if it's mystic I think it's going to be a bit of a pain for people purely because yeah purely because of exactly who everyone is already going to be using unless he's got some Unless he comes in Mystic, this is if he does come into a Mystic team. If he comes in, he's got an awesome kit. Then maybe he gets in in front of, you know, well, you wouldn't get in front of Cloak and Dagger. You wouldn't get in front of Icarus and Cersei. Deathpool, probably not. So, I mean, they probably, yeah, they. Purely just because of how much he uses his swords. How athletic he is, you know, and then they'll probably be like, "Yeah, that'll do for skill." Put him in skill. Hopefully, he goes in the skill because um, you don't really need to change this team up too much. And then again, it'll be interesting to see what sort of kit. But I can't see anyone else as the next legendary. I think we've already had. Well, we have had teased um, Apocalypse as well. Um, yeah, I would. I mean, they're, I doubt they're ever going to do it. I think, what, have they, who have they done it with? Two characters in it? Um, Kestrel and uh, Doom are the only two that they've dual tagged. You could dual tag him. It would make sense for us with common sense. Scopely probably going to... Probably not. They'll probably end up putting it in one or the other, but he should be allowed in both. Because, again... It just makes perfect sense, but scopely don't seem to work like that. So it will be very interesting to see. And like, uh, like I said, we've got apocalypse coming. Um, that's for definite. So that'll be interesting to see who goes into um, as the four horsemen. I think Angel's going to be a guaranteed head-on. It'll be interesting to see if they turn around and they go four legendaries. So Angel, Legendary, and then you're going to have Pestilence, uh, Famine, and... Is Angel Death? Or War? I believe he's... Death? Either way, Death or War, I think, yeah, all four of them are going to be uh, Legendaries. That's how I'd do it. I think it would mix the game up, and obviously makes it a lot more interesting. Having four Legendaries to unlock Apocalypse and make Apocalypse the best character in the game... Give Apocalypse ain't like loads of buffs to all mutants, but obviously when he's with the four horsemen, he's just an absolute machine. And then do that's all they'd need to do for the year. I mean, well, that piss people off massively just having them um, led a year worth of um, legendary mutants. But it would be cool. But it'd be interesting to see who they do. But Apocalypse would be a very, very interesting character. They go for legendaries, it would be like a year and a half before they all come out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think what. Well, <clears throat> we're still waiting for Gambit and Rogue. Um, so that'll be 
I'd be interested to see where they come out. Can they do Psylocke? They can. I believe Psylocke was one of the horsemen as well. Rogue, I don't think, was a horseman. Uh, Gambit, I'm pretty sure, was a horseman. Um, so it'd be interesting. They could do it like it'll be four new characters with a horseman tag, not legendaries, and then just doing him as a legendary. That's probably going to make more sense to them. Um, and it'll be interesting to see. But ideally, with Apocalypse, you need to make him. Dormammu sort of level good because he is probably the big big bad uh, mutant the only one the only other one that I'd say is probably up there probably better than him would be Onslaught which is the whole Magneto and uh, Professor Xavier arc thing I don't know and many people have actually Aware of the whole um, onslaught, it'd be a fucking class character to put in. But I think that's pretty much all I'm going to have to for today. And have a quick look at more. Did he manage to take it out? That's the big question. So he was fighting. He did, I believe. Let's go to history. Jesus. Fair fucking play, lad. 1.2 million. That's a. That still just shows just how good Infinity War are. That's a massive punch up. That's a massive punch up. Fair fucking play, lad. Uh, I just know that these that are sat on a fucking 1.2 million heroes for hire. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Wayland if you love the game that much. By all means, mate, you enjoy yourself. But you have spent some money on this. Jesus. Thinking, do I use. Will my. Infinity Watch in this. I don't think they will. Seven hundred and eight. I don't think they will. Five hundred K punch up. Just need to get rid of the Kestrel and I think I could do it. Let's give it a go. What else am I doing eh? Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I'm losing two. Yeah, this is done. Oh, 
Uh, I played this wrong. Do it again, ability block. If it doesn't work, then I ain't gonna be able to do it. Let's try it one more time. 17. Let's try ability blocking. Ability block Sharon Carter. She's just gonna heal everyone back up, he's just gonna taunt, but I can probably let's do her. Yay. They're going to go too big for me. as well save the team and actually put it somewhere where I can fucking use it. Well there you go, goes to show.
No, we will target the cargo bay. Justify it to myself. We want to start spending this much on the game. It changes from the game to a hobby, and there's some way more expensive hobbies out there. That is true. That is true. I've been. I was playing 41 or 40k. That's an expensive fucking hobby. I mean, for what price of like five miniatures, you're spending like what, 30 to 50 quid on five miniatures at times over in the UK. So yeah, this is a lot cheaper. That's what I say to people. I've spent probably, I think, I think roughly since the four years. I had a year and a about a year and a half out. If we go to, I think it's about a year and a half. I stopped playing for. It was a year and a half on a lot of. No, that's not necessary. Achievements. So not yeah, yeah, what so it's been out since what 20, 2018? So So about a year, about a year and a half I had out. Um so in that time I've spent I think I worked it out going back through the Apple shop. Probably spent probably about 400 quid max over the space of that time. What, three and a half? Or three years? Probably less than 400 quid actually. Much less than 400 quid. About. I think the most I spent was last year. And in total, last year I spent. All I kept doing was buying the. Um, what should I call it? Pass real time arena, which is what 70 99 over here, so what 20 30 pounds a month max. Yeah, probably actually, no, yeah, probably about 400 pounds. Sorry, 400 pounds since I've been playing, which ain't too bad. Because, like you say, it's. I don't see it as a game, I see it as a hobby, so I enjoy doing it, I enjoy playing it, I enjoy everything about it. So, it's something that, you know, I'm not spending much money on my PlayStation 5 games anymore, on my Xbox, on my. I mean, the only Switch game. The only other game I bought recently is the Pokemon game for Switch. I didn't buy that, I got that for free. Um, so, I literally don't buy, buy for any other games at the moment. So, this is like a brand new game once a month, which is what I'd be spending anyway. So. You know, fifty. I'd say people fifty pound a month. That's nothing. That is nothing. So, but that is everything for today. Um. Thanks for, thanks for joining Alpha, and I look forward to you joining again. See ya.